<laughs> She's been playing Minecraft for 13 hours. Hey gamers, welcome back to the second episode of How To Skyblock. In this video, I'll be giving you the complete guide for manual farming. Quick note, I'll be hosting a Simon Says event for a $10 Bycraft voucher on my island this week. To be able to compete, you must be in my Discord server and be able to join the event's voice channel. Link will be in the description. The compost bin. These overpriced pixels on your screen will set you back between $1.5 to $2 million for what? Some of you must be thinking, But is it worth it? Yes, yes it is. A compost bin gives crops a 10% chance of growing every 2 seconds. Especially when the crop multiplier booster is activated, you will want your crops to grow as fast as possible. Death and free, seeing I sent a grand to some mark. Listen here you little sh**. My boy spent 10 real dollars to enhance your Minecraft experience. That's like, 5 cheeseburgers, 4 finger strokes, T-I-P. Enter! Did that affect your balance? You f muppet. So you spent 1.5 mil on a midi dumpster. Now what? Well it says here, 8 blocks. 8 blocks what? 8 blocks up my ass. The compost bin has a radius of 8 by 8 by 8. Quick explanation, so this brown dot is your compost bin, and this is your- why is it still brown? And the red dot is your nether wart. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8. Okay? And then this is the bird's eye view. So everything, all the nether wart here, 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 and here is all affected by this compost bin. Also, it's up and down as well. Like, like up and down. Like Y axis. Y, Y axis. If you're still confused after that perfect explanation, then you're a lost cause, f off. The best crop to farm with the compost bin are nether warts. So prepare to listen to this for 8 hours a day. I know some of your nether wart farms look like a large patch of herpes, which makes it extremely inefficient to harvest. You need to lay it out like so. 4 rows with a gap in the middle, 6 layers tall and place the compost bin on the 4th layer, 16 blocks apart from each compost bin. Got it? If you missed that, come to my island at ISWARPYT. Harvest hoe. If you don't have a harvest hoe this season, yo ho f it is essential when it comes to manual farming, as it increases efficiency and profits. This season, harvest hoes can be upgraded. In order to obtain an upgrade point, you will need to start harvesting crops with it. Since experience is based on crops harvested, nether wart and sugarcane is your best bet. The order I like to upgrade my harvest hoe are a maxing out experience boost, auto sell, double drops, and lastly treasure hunter. Each level of XP boost upgrades your harvest hoe 5% faster. Each level of double drops increases your chances of a double drop by 5%. Each treasure hunter level grants you 6 treasure to be found per hour. Here are the chances of what could be dropped with the treasure hunter upgrade. To further your profits in your farmville experience, you will need to collect all 4 pieces of farmer 2 gear, which can go all the way up to $400,000 per piece. Each piece will give you a 4% increase of dropping double crops. Lastly, sugarcane. You will need island points eventually to obtain the necessary perks on your island. Harvesting sugarcane with either a fortune 3 axe or your overpriced scythe is the most efficient way to obtain island points. Thank you guys so much for watching on until the end of the video, don't forget to join my Discord server to compete in this Simon Says event for your chance to win a $10 Bycroft voucher. Goodbye for now, and as always, take care.